What's going on YouTube? QKG here, and I'm not even gonna lie, I am beat right now. Like, if you don't know, because I live in Michigan, and it's actually, the weather's been good, especially in March. Usually it's like poo outside, but I've been hitting the skate park, I just got done from work, feeling beat, just been, you know, just been trying to come home, game a little bit before I gotta go back to work, but I definitely want to give you guys a video because for the past few days I haven't, and I'm just gonna let you know straight up why. There was two games that came out that just, just been taking up my time. One of them, as you see on the screen, is going to be The Division, which you guys are going to see an impressions video, which is like a little, um, just like a little um, freestyle review that I'm going to give you guys on The Division. Because so far, I'm, I'm, I'm liking the game. I have some issues with it, but I definitely have some thoughts on The Division. So I'm going to give you those uh, later on. So anyway, on to today's video, which is just going to be a quick commentary on just a topic, which is going to be, which I've been noticing ever since Gears came on the PC. And then also we got Word of Quantum Break, which is an Xbox One exclusive coming to the PC. And then also Killer Instinct coming to the PC. And these are all supposed to be... Killer Instinct should be coming out sometime this month, which I can't wait for. And then also um, Quantum Break, which is actually going to come out the same time as the Xbox One version. So some people honestly don't like that idea, and I don't know why. But this is pretty much of just overall title or some of should the Xbox One games come to the PC platform too. And apparently some people don't like that idea, which I definitely don't understand why. I'm all for any game getting spread so more people can play it. I mean, heck, even the PC games were going over to some of the consoles, which is great. Enjoy those games. And some of them were even free to play too, so you guys don't even have to pay any money. Well, besides your monthly Xbox Live or PSN fee, other than that, enjoy that crap. Have a, f a blast with it. Actually, with some free-to-play games, I don't even think you need to have PSN Plus for it. I think it's just for the AAA games. But other than that, spread the games, spread the love. Everybody should enjoy that. But for some reason, there are people who feel like, you know, maybe this shouldn't happen. Maybe they should keep exclusives on certain consoles so they can sell more. Which, I mean, I can definitely understand that. But I'm not going to lie, after seeing... Uh, Gears of War come on the PC. Now, honestly, Gears of War does have its issues. It does, but I still love some good old Gears. And then hearing about Killer Instinct, which is one of my favorite um, Super Nintendo games, because I actually played the original, thanks a lot to my uncle, beating the heck out of me in that game. And I just really could not wait for that game to come out. Well, it was an Xbox One exclusive when I had a 360 at the time and moved over to PC. I couldn't enjoy it. I still watched the characters that they were coming out with. I still kept up with the game. And if I would have got an Xbox One, I definitely would have been playing Killer Instinct. But seeing as how it's coming on PC now, clearly I'm not going to get an Xbox One just to do it. That's spending a whole nother like, like 350, 400 bucks just to play that one game that I'm going to get on this platform within this month. So I guess some people feel like there's not a need to buy an Xbox One for certain stuff like that. But believe me, there, I mean, Xbox One has its perks, but depending on if games are getting spread on different platforms, that's still a positive. Because think about it like this. Either way, it's going into Microsoft's pocket. Maybe not for their Xbox is going to do, you know, all amazing in sales and stuff, but think about it. They actually sell the games on the Xbox Market Store, or the Xbox Live Store, whatever it is. So, it's not on Steam on PC. It's not on um, Origin or any other thing on PC. It's on the Xbox Live Store. So, what that means is they actually get the profits from it. So, it's not like they just put it on a third-party um, uh, client service like Steam, and Steam's going to be the middleman. No, they do directly buy from them. And the good news is, on PC, you don't even have to pay for Xbox Live, too. Which I know some people are going to feel like that's kind of crappy, but to tell you the truth, it would be kind of dumb for them to try that again. Because Games for Windows Live was back in the day, which was pretty much Xbox Live on PC, and nobody liked it. Because nobody wanted to pay for it, because we have Steam, or you don't have to do that. Or GOG Galaxy, or Origin, or Uplay. They have all that stuff where you don't have to pay for it, so it's kind of redundant to do try to do it again. But I'm glad that they definitely um, incorporated the fact that we can bring our games over to the PC, but we're not going to let you guys um, pay for it or anything like that, giving us some perks, which is good, even though the game comes out later. But, I mean, that's still a good thing, though. But either way, it's going to help out Microsoft in the long run. So if, if some of those people are kind of worried about that, then I don't know. But 
other than that, I just think that it's always a good thing to spread the games along the different platforms because it gives people a chance to actually play the rest of the games. I'm pretty sure people who either hate on this console or hate on that console, I'm pretty sure you guys would love to play some of the games that are on those different consoles. Like, people who are on the Xbox or on PC would love to play The Last of Us. I'm still dying to play that game, but I just don't... I just don't got the bread just to poop out and get like a PS3 or I would rather get a PS4 just so I can get that um that remastered edition because I, I actually got to play that at my friend's house. That looked amazing. It actually looked good. But other than that, it's just like I understand where some people are coming from with this, but like, come on, son. Like it, it's games. Like come on, man. It's games are coming to the platform, which is good. And that's just one thing I like. But of course, if a game comes to PC that you guys are getting. I mean, now that's pretty good, but I can understand how they can be mad about the whole Xbox Live thing. But I just had some thoughts on that I wanted to share with you guys, just some real quick. But in case you guys did not know what's been going on with either PC or the consoles or anything like that with exclusive-wise, which some people pay attention to. But yeah, this is what's been going on, and it's actually a positive thing, and also some people may see it as a negative. For me, of course... Of course, I'm on PC. I'm going to see it as a positive. But other than that, that's pretty much all I got to say about it. I mean, I would love for, you know, Xbox to get some games that come from PC, which they do. Some of the consoles do it all the time. So, I mean, everything's going to just work out in its own because it's all under Microsoft. So, they're going to profit from it regardless. But anyway, I really want to thank you guys for tuning in. I'm just giving you guys a little quick filler video just because my division of uh, impressions will be coming out pretty soon i definitely want to give you guys my raw opinion about that game because i've been really really digging that game so thank you guys for tuning in i really hope you enjoyed it this is quentin with quentin knows games and peace out